Movie Recorder 4 came out in October of 2017, and we're happy to say that four years later, we still have improvements, and Movie Recorder 4.4 has some great new features for every user. So let's get right into what you can do. So with Movie Recorder 4.4, we have some new destination changes. If you go to the gear, in auto split, split file every, we have time code break. Now time code break is great for archive projects. If you're capturing some, uh, some video, say from a tape deck, and you have time code on there, you're gonna see time code breaks as that clip plays out. And we will automatically read that time code and sense that we need to split the file when it changes. This is really helpful because if you're ever trying to capture a lot of archive footage digitally, you're gonna run into having one major file and need to break it up in post. This way it's gonna automatically be done for you. Now Movie Recorder 4 has some new changes in Apple scripting. When you look inside the gear, Apple script before recording. Now, initially when we did this, it was only an Apple script and it wasn't asking anything for a parameter. And if you've played with on your video 4, you know the parameter is how we can ask certain things of the project, of the playlist, or of the schedule. So we're doing the same thing here. We're passing a parameter of the source name. And using that, we can ask and tell specific things in the Apple script. Why that's important that we're using the source parameter. We could do dialogue pop-ups. We can send Slack messages. And an important one to know is we can do router controls natively with Blackmagic routers or ROS routers right inside Movie Recorder. So this is a huge help. And one more thing. Not only can you do it in the destination, now you can use it inside the schedule as well. So in your schedule, you can run an Apple script. Now, why that might be super helpful is because we just added support for Blackmagic routers and ROS routers. Yes, so now your recording that is scheduled can automatically change your router for you. Now you don't have to worry about someone changing your routing as you're setting up your record. You can automatically set it up inside of your recording schedule. This is just about Movie Recorder 4, and there's so much more. Okay, so let's see this other great feature of Movie Recorder 4. It's our ability to see SCSI triggers. So what you just saw was a SCSI came in through our source and we're able to break it apart as far as its program, its duration, event. So all that information will show up in your activities log. This is a great way to treat your Movie Recorder as a log analyzer. We're able to take those pieces apart. So really great feature for those of you using that. And another great feature in the full version of Movie Recorder is we have the ability to do the AV presets and DNX HR. So that is the Avid 4K codec that you can now use in Movie Recorder 4. So this is going to be a great help for those of you with the Avid workflow. And that's a simple select right here. So we have all the different flavors of DNX HR right there. We think these additions to Movie Recorder 4.4 make it the best version of Movie Recorder 4 yet. So thank you so much for joining us for the Softron virtual exhibition. We'll have a lot more on what's new and of course the Apple scripting features in Movie Recorder. Thank you so much for joining us.